There we go. Jeez. Person almost hit me. Good grief. What a bunch of idiots. I hate parking lots. I really do. This is your old pal DB. Don Burnside. One the fuck video hour. I want to say it's a Wednesday, June the 3rd, 2015. We're cruising around very, very near to the 85226. Uh, currently, it is about 20 minutes to 5, 1640. And uh, because summer has now officially started in Arizona, current outside temperature. 101 degrees. Very happy about summer starting in Arizona. I'm a huge fan of summer in Arizona. Why are you so shaky? You are like Captain Shaky Cam tonight. What's going on? You're well attached. I don't know. Anyhow, hello. I've re received multiple complaints slash requests to produce yet another one of these silly videos from the 2008 R56 Mini Cooper Studios, which we're doing now. My work day has ended. I'm drinking water from a coffee can, so that's close. It's 20 to five, I'm, you can't drink coffee this late, it's almost beer time, man. I mean, come on, you know? For the first time in my entire life, well, not first time in my entire life, but the first time in a very long time, I am talking to you just days, days, mere days after I took a real life, honest to goodness, vacation. I went to a mini vacation in Vegas. That's a big Mini Cooper event. It happens in Vegas, you know, every other year. Uh, oh, you know, it's me and 500 of my closest, most personal Mini Cooper friends. It's awesome. Um, and normally I go and I'm all Mr. White Refradio and it's like, oh, got to take pictures, got to do this, got to do that, got to do all the White Refradio things. And this time I went, nah, ain't doing it. This time it's like, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of White Refradio stuff. Oh, look, it's lunchtime. Let's go get a sandwich. Oh, let's go sit by the pool and have cocktails. Yeah, that's what we did. We vacationed the vacation out of vacation. I'm not kidding. I did that for like two or three days. It was awesome. I need to do that more often. It was pretty rad. Um, and for those of you wondering, uh, I'm stuck in really bad traffic. My freeway, I hate. For those of you wondering, if you ever want to go someplace that has a pretty decent pool area and get you a, a cabana for cheap, uh, go to the Silverton. Rooms are fairly inexpensive. It's not near the Strip. It's a pretty nice place. There's a Bass Pro Shops nearby. Right next door. It's attached. You know, what more can you want? I'm going to cut in right here on this cat. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the cabana costs nothing. That doesn't cost nothing. 100 bucks for food or booze. And honestly, when you're at the pool, who can't drink a hundred, drink and eat 100 bucks worth of stuff? Come on now. Bring all your friends. Anyway, it was quite relaxing. I, I feel oddly refreshed. I'm not really sure what that feels like, but that's how I feel. Um, it's actually quite nice. Super pleased that I did vacation. You know, the, it was just nice. Because normally, you know, I take a couple weeks off and I'm doing like a mini United thing or I'm doing mini takes the States. And that's, I mean, as much as I'm not working, it's a vacation, but it's all, those are a hard work. This last mini takes the States, man. Was, here, we're going we're gonna to wake up and then we're going to do some stuff with all the owners. And then we're going to drive for eight hours and then we're going to do some stuff with the owners again party and whatnot. This is all a good time. Uh, wake up and do it all again. Different so I mean, it was like we were on tour. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of fun. For reals, it's a lot of fun. I love doing that kind of stuff. But this time it was nice to very much not do, not do nothing. Met with friends, ate some good food, went to a Carmine's in, the, in Caesar's Palace. Go Alex. Alex is the food master. Carmen's was amazing. Oh, gee. It was really good Italian food. Like, legit Italian food. But don't go with just, like, you and your sweetheart. Uh, go with, like, four, six, ten people. We went with ten people. We got, like, four plates, and there was food left over. 
And it wasn't like dainty people that are afraid of food either. I mean, a bunch of big dudes and, and our ladies and none of our ladies are afraid of food. Neither are any of the dudes. We ate, we ate very well. And uh, like I said, it was amazing. Had a great time. Also went to this um, New Mexican joint. Forgive me, I don't remember the name. Next to a strip club. Which was a lot of fun. Uh, not the strip club, obviously. I didn't. We didn't go to the strip club. Come on, gear, mine's out of the gutter. We did have this amazing Mexican food, though. Uh, it was right next door, and they had uh, proper, you know, they had like all the tequilas and all the stuff, and it's like all gluten free, non GMO, fair trade, organic, recycled food. All the things. It was delicious. I will, I will eat there next time I'm in Vegas. And it was reasonably priced. You know, it was normal sit down restaurant prices. What more do you want? I think it's called El Dorado. I think it was called the El Dorado. It's over on Industrial by Sahara. I'm, I'm not kidding when I say it's next to a strip club. There's two doors that are practically side by side. One of them takes you into the place where the ladies uh, wear no pants. And the other one takes you into delicious Mexican food. So, and they share the same parking lot. So just make sure you park in the correct space. Otherwise, you know. Don't want to get mom upset because you park next to the guy who's wearing the strip club pants. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, it was a little bit hipper. This is a place I don't think I'd take my folks. I'd take my folks, but it was pretty hip. Um, definitely younger feel, that kind of thing. It was really nice. I would go again. I will go again. Done, done. I'd go to Carmine's again, too, if I had another group of, like, 12 people to, to take with me. Uh, yeah, because it was delicious. Good grief. But the Silverton was nice. Completely acceptable place. It was nice going someplace that didn't smell like a 1970s casino and, you know, without old people pushing around their walkers and oxygen tanks and and that stuff. It was uh, taller ceilings, fresher air. Uh, it looked newer. It wasn't that much newer than Palace Station. Yeah, it's probably a little bit newer than Palace Station. Uh, Palace Station is just, it's gotten old. Palace Station needs to be blown up, torn down, and rebuilt. You know, you go to Palace Station, as soon as you walk in, it's like, it's like you just walked into an ashtray. But Palace Station is a great venue for what the Mini Cooper community needs. But as it turns out, so is Silverton. It was awesome. Anyway, I recommend the Silverton. That's what I did on my vacation. And now, I'm going to the grocery store. Uh, yeah, that's right. I don't have to stop here. Thank you. I'm going to go to the grocery store. And I might have a beer at this grocery store. I'm just saying. Because I can. That's right. Whole Foods. Yeah. I know. It's kooky. It's crazy. But this Whole Foods... Uh, this Whole Foods here, the one that's literally across the street from my house. Walking distance. I have walked home. I have walked to this place and I've walked home. Um, has like a giant food court thing. And along with the giant food court, they also have this really cool um, beer bar that they serve. They serve high quality uh, beers, not like Bud Light and Coors Light and Miller Light and uh, even not even Sam Adams or Newcastle. Um, the guys in charge of this place only get what, what, what we call craft beers. I hate that term craft beers, but that's what it is. They only get craft beers. Um, so they're, like I said, there's no Bud Light, there's no Coors Light, there's no, there's no Corona, there's no mass produced beer at this place. Only the good stuff. Um, you know, Deschutes and New Belgian and uh, Oscar Blues and Lost Coast trying to think of more breweries anyway all the ones that you like all the ones that I like that's what the kind of beers that these guys get and that's what I'm gonna go do I'm gonna go get groceries and probably have a beer I hope everybody has having also had an equally great vacation your summer's off to a kick-ass start 103 degrees it's pretty delightful here in Arizona and um, and really that's all I have we'll talk to you guys again soon I promise bye